Hi, my name is Denis and I want to present you today the new features of WhatsApp Companion. WhatsApp Companion is a plugin developed by the company Orsena to work and to improve the monitoring with the product WhatsApp Gold. As you know in WhatsApp Gold you have a lot of templates for active monitoring and performance monitoring. We develop our own concerning databases as Oracle, MySQL, DB2, Informix, Sybase and PostgreSQL. First of all, in the Active Monitor library, I'm going to show you to configure an Oracle Monitor. So you just go in your library, select the Oracle Monitor and then you just need to specify the name. After entering the name, just put the credentials as the user then the password and the instance of your Oracle database. After you can see that you have a lot of variables that are already inserted in the plugin. You just need to check or uncheck the one that you want. And after you can configure the threshold to set on which you want to be alerted when it's going up or down for the device. You can also add the description that you want. For example, our will be only for active stations of our Oracle database. So we don't want that, uh, we want to be alerted when the number of station is high, greater than 50. We select 50 and we validate the monitor. So now we're going to test it on the device. So we go, we browse our, yeah, our different devices, go to Oracle folder and we select the device. We test it and we can see that the monitor is up because the written code is zero. To show you that uh, the monitor is working fine, we can go. We are going to the uh, server, Oracle server, and run the SQL command that's gonna give you the actual number of active stations on the server. So we copy this line, and you can see that there is or there is now 21 sessions, so less than 50 the threshold that we configured before. When we come back to the active monitor in our, in our WhatsApp Gold, you just need to put a value smaller than 20, than 22, or 20, that 22, and if you test it, you can see that the Oracle monitor is going in the down state and the number of station is 22. We saw 21 but it's 22 because when WhatsApp Companion connect it's making one session more. So now we check that the plugin is working fine and we're gonna reset the value to 50 because this, this is our threshold and we're going to apply this monitor to the device that we want. So we go on the device in the active monitor se section and then we add the Oracle monitor that we configured. We just scroll down and here it is, Oracle monitor. So our monitor is on in place on the device and you can see that it's green so everything is working fine and now you're gonna have a threshold to monitor the numerization of your Oracle database on WhatsApp Gold now I'm gonna present you the over types so you have uh, different types for databases you have the MySQL monitor 
and is the same as the Oracle monitor in terms of variables and templates and you can specify the one that you want and configure different things but you can also uh, check for percentage or megabytes limits in these areas which is really uh, important you have also access to SQL MultiDB query monitor with this monitor you can act, you can check for different kind of database and so it allows you to monitor most of your environment database environment with the WhatsApp companion plugin concerning performance monitor we actually have um, different templates for Oracle and MySQL and also for Telnet extended I just want to to present to you the Oracle performance monitor so as you can see you have the same counters as in the active monitors you just need to select the one that you want that you want to graph and then you will have information statistical information about your Oracle database for example you can see also the telnet extended you just specify the name the co telnet command and you can graph the, the returnal value so it's very useful if you need to graph a value by this kind of connection on MySQL we already place some performance monitors and you can see that you can put a lot of monitors we're gonna add one MySQL monitor on this device to show you the kind of graphs and uh, possibilities that you have so you can specify the name manually in the box so you just need to type it you can also select directly the counter and if you select the counter it's gonna change automatically your name of monitor you can so it's it's kind of easy and you can of course uh, customize this name just set up your credentials user password and net port number the collection interval of your performance monitor and then test it so we're gonna test it on the device and you're gonna see that we got the return code meaning that it's working fine and the polling value which is for our monitor the bytes sent so it's going up because <laughs> we're making requests so now we're gonna see different things about MySQL monitor in fact if you run the appropriate request on your MySQL server you can have this value so that's what we're gonna do to check uh, if it's really the value that we will have the thing is that when we run this request on the MySQL server we got a number of bytes that is going up all the time so it's just the request to show you that you you got a value okay so on the mysql server you need to specify this command to connect on your sql server then the command to know the bytes sent is just this one show status like byte was sent so you can see the value of the bytes sent of course we don't have this value exactly because it's always changing but you can see how how the the monitor is taking this data and so now in the web interface you can see all the performance custom performance for mysql that we positioned on this device so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool because you got 
information, statistical information about your MySQL database. It's working the same uh, when you click on the graphic, you can select the one you want as another custom performance monitor, as the disk utilization, as the CPU utilization. It's the same uh, mechanism, so it's very, very useful. So, for example, the one that we just have uh, set up on the device, okay, uh, which is the Bytes Sense 2. So this is the first one that we made a long time ago. But the one that we just configured before, you see one value here. So it's starting to get some data from the server. And uh, and so in the time, you, got, you will have a lot of statistical. So all these monitors that are uh, configured um, concerning databases, I mean active monitors for DB2, Informix, Sybase, Postgre, uh, and performance and active monitors for Oracle and MySQL are very useful. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.